Jay, thank you. Now to our special coverage of the Station Nightclub Fire tragedy 10 years later. Throughout the day, Southern New Englanders will be remembering the 100 lives that were lost and reflecting on the changes now in place to keep a tragedy like the one in West Warwick from ever happening again. A lot of people are expected to visit the site in West Warwick in the day ahead. And Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is there this morning with coverage for us. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. A very quiet morning here in West Warwick, very similar to how it was 10 years ago on this date. At that time, the station nightclub sat right behind us right there, and nobody could have predicted the tragic fire that was going to happen later that night. Now, Eyewitness News had an emotional conversation with one of the victim's brothers, Jody King. He shares pictures and other memories of his brother, Tracy, who is a bouncer at the station nightclub. Jody says Tracy died while trying to save others in the club on that fateful night. He still remembers his brother as a loving father of three with a great sense of humor. Today, King and others will have heavy hearts as they honor loved ones a decade after the tragedy. There were a hundred perfect angels that we lost that night. I have a great story about Tracy. There are 99 more beautiful stories about 99 more angels. Now, we haven't seen any of the victims, families, or loved ones show up just yet. We've seen a couple of cars pull in and then just pull back out. We are expecting to see more as the morning goes on. Now, coming up in our next half hour, we're going to talk more about a permanent memorial, the plans that are supposed to be set in motion right here on the station nightclub fire site. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.